Sirs, viewers were wondering why the lights are out in the Big Dig tunnels. WBC's Julie Lonchek is getting you closer to an answer tonight. If you've driven through the Ted Williams tunnel recently, you may have had difficulty adjusting to the light, or lack of light, that is. It's a little difficult, um, especially on a bright day like this. You go in there, your eyes have to adjust, of course, and uh, at nighttime, it's not much better. It's, it is kind of dangerous, you know, one gets a little nervous going through there, especially when handling a semi. There are lights on either side until there aren't. This long stretch of lighting halfway through is out. Viewer Steven Astis and his wife couldn't help but notice while in a drive this past weekend and asked WBZ to look into the matter. He admits the freak manhole cover accident that killed a woman in the Tip O'Neill tunnel last week was top of mind. It's like total darkness and Look, if you look up close at the lights, it looks like there's wires or some type of bungee cords that are just holding the lights up in place. And, you know, for $15 billion, it, it's like this whole project is held together with bubble gum. Last fall, after routine inspection, MassDOT uncovered spring nuts securing the light fixtures were cracked. As a result, a full inspection was ordered and completed in November. Transportation officials decided it was time to replace the nuts and work to remove, clean, and reinstall the lights has been underway. You know, I thought that stuff would have been fixed by now with the amount of times I've seen cones, but, you know, it's just surprising it's not. Julie Lonchek, WBZ News. Now, transportation officials say the lights that are up now do meet or exceed federal guidelines, but they say all of the work will be complete by Monday.